Hello everyone, this is Ria here from Tikka News. Today we have a special guest, Mr. Ajay Manglunia, Executive Vice President and the Head of Fixed Income from Edelweiss Securities. Uh, here we are talking about the uh, interest rate stance of the Central Bank of India in 2018. So our first question is, what is your outlook on the interest rate stance uh, in 2018? The outlook for the market as far as the interest rates are concerned is uh, for the year 2018 is slightly volatile. It has started with the rates moving up with the trend that key, the growth is coming back in the US. The US growth rate, which was 2.1, is slightly higher than the expectation and there's been a change in the Fed chief there. Uh, Mr. Powell has taken charge from Yellen and there was a kind of a uh, indication given to the market that U US will do three rate hikes for 2018. But market is somehow now factoring that they can do four rate hikes and this what is taking the yields on a higher side on the US 10 year treasury which is now currently trading at around 290. It is up by 50 basis points over the last couple of months and uh, the oil is all, the crude is also to some extent is responsible for the yields moving up and and uh, with the growth coming back the oil prices are likely to move up world over we have seen that in the past as well. And that's what is putting pressure on the yields on the Indian bond market as well. So in 2018, generally, it's, it's, it's kind of expected that the market is likely to be volatile. And that volatility will be on either side. But right now, it's moving towards on the higher side. So the rates outlook, a lot of uh, without any uh, rate action by the central bank and all the yields have already kind of factored a rate hikes and all. The rate hike eventually may come or may not come. That's all depends on the how the inflation is pans out. The inflation likely to be in the range of say uh, uh, comfort zone of four to six. Uh, that's the direction to the central banker given on the inflation call for the year. But in the first half it is expected to be more towards five or above that. But in the second half, with the impact of the monsoon and all those variables are even there but it is expected to be, be at the comfort zone like 4% or all. So we don't see a quick rate action to contain the inflation, but the market is fearful about rate hikes from the US, yields mowing up and, and the Indian market being volatile and all that. So any kind of a relief is expected at any time, but I don't see markets moving too much on the rate side up from here. I don't think so, trend is likely to re be reverse. Uh, I, I, I strongly believe that there is a kind of a lag effect in terms of banks to react and cut down their rates and all. If you see the monetary policy transmission so far, there has been 200 basis points cut in the rates by the RBI, whereas the banks have kind of uh, able to cut about 100, 120 basis points only. So the full transmission of the rate cut is still very slow on the bank credit side, whereas the bond market has been quickly immediately on the on the on the day of announcements and all it it gives you a better pricing so the efficiency wise and 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 the best of the corporates who have better rating in the market acceptability will always be coming to the bond side rather i would say there has been a focus on the bond issuances in the budget as well and there has been kind of a guidelines by the rbi especially to the large borrower framework wherein they are making it compulsory for them to necessarily go to the bond market. 50% of their borrowing has to be through the bond route and all. I see a very bright future for the bond market as such in the coming down. And this market will eventually keep growing. I am expecting bond market to be closer to 50% of the credit space. And the 50% is to be through the credit route.